The Oregon State University Board of Trustees decided after a nearly seven-hour meeting Wednesday to place President F. King Alexander on probation until June 1 for his role in the mishandling of sexual misconduct complaints while he was at the helm of Louisiana State University and the erosion of trust it has created. The sanction falls short of numerous calls for Alexander's termination. During his probationary period, the board decided, Alexander must come up with an action plan, outlining how he will rebuild the trust of campus. The board said it would then evaluate that plan and receive feedback from the community. Significant concerns have been raised about trust and commitment to OSU values from any aspects of the community, trustee Michelle Longo Ader said. We need to find a way to see if it's possible to address those going forward. OSU will also hire an outside consultant to review the recommendations of LSU Hush Blackwell report and help them answer specific questions about the report and OSU's own Title X compliance. Alexander was president at LSU from July 2013 to last July 1, a time when outside investigator Hush Blackwell found there was a serious institutional failure related to Title X cases. Hush Blackwell issued a 148-page report to LSU, which the university requested in response to reporting by USA Today and released publicly on March 5. Ader and Kawadar Hussein, the only student member of the board, were the only trustees to vote no on the board's motion. The decision was immediately criticized by Brenda Tracy, a gang rape survivor and activist from Oregon who had testified before the board earlier in the day. The Oregon State Board of Trustees have proven through their discussions today that they are completely and totally incapable of handling issues related to gendered violence, she said on Twitter. Governor Kate Brown, we need to find another solution. This group is more harmful than helpful to survivors. During a four-hour public hearing ahead of the board's executive session, Alexander pushed back against the findings. He blamed budget cuts and said any problems were beyond his control a response that did not endear him to an OSU community that already found his hiring to be contentious. OSU faculty, staff and students who testified in the public hearing nearly unanimously called for Alexander's firing. Ahead of the meeting, 39 OSU student government members signed a letter to the board calling for Alexander's firing. Oregon State Representative Sarah Gelser and Louisiana State Representative Amy Adato Freeman both called for his immediate termination. If Alexander knew about the cover-up of rampant issues, and did not address them, he should resign or have his contract terminated, the student government letter said.